Did, was it the kind of grandfather that would sit down uh, and after a meal would just tell you about the finals, about the, the, the wins, about Real Madrid? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I've, I've heard this story so many times. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite? So, to me and then uh, to other people, no? Uh, my favorite off the pitch, I cannot tell. <laughs> and on the pitch, uh, well, maybe it used to. My grandma used to show me the pictures after the final they play. I think in in Scotland, uh, Hamden, Hamden Park. Yeah, he he. Entering Frankfurt final. He did a bet with someone that if he won this final, he would come back uh, dressed with the Scottish skirt. Uh, Killed, yeah. Killed, yeah. And, and when they land back in, in Madrid, he got off the plane uh, dressed as a Scottish and, and he, my grandma used to show me these pictures. Uh, <laughs> I used to love a lot. Well, how did he manage to get it? I don't know. He got, he got it somewhere in Scotland, I guess. Because yeah. that, that, was that wasn't the time where the player said, I want this and things happen in five minutes. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know how, how, how but he managed to to do this and I think uh, like as a, as a surprise when they when they land in Madrid with the with the cup uh, he came down the plane with the cup and and dressed with the with the kill I think uh, this is one of the best stories uh, he has you've been in Madrid so was your grandfather can you please explain to us what is it they have they don't need to play well but they win when they don't win it doesn't seem to matter while everybody else is in crisis. So this year, for instance, in the league, not doing well, but it doesn't matter, because of course they're doing well in the Champions League. What is it that, that takes them to win? Well, I don't know why you say they don't play well. I think they play very well. Uh, maybe uh, it's not like Barca game that is maybe nicer to, to watch, but I think they, they, they play very well. I mean, they are, very complete team. Uh, they are physical, uh, they are good in set pieces when they have to, uh, they are clinical. I think what I remember is that they don't need to play well to win. They don't need to play at the best to win. They still manage when, they, yeah, like when it's needed. Possession game. <coughs> uh, <coughs> and this is, is maybe, maybe not the best football you can, you can watch. But I think they, they play very well. They have uh, top players. Uh, they always perform with when, when they have to. And, and, and they have this winner mentality that, that goes with the, with the club. And, and that they teach you since, since you are a kid and you play for, for the academy. How? How do they teach you that? I don't know. It's just... Uh, it's just the... the, the how do you say that one of the qualities of the club? Uh, they, they, you get used to this, and, and, and I think it's the best way to, to, to be a winner, no? Uh, it's all about win, 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 even as a kid? Yeah, the attitude that, that, that they, they, they teach for you to win, I think, uh, makes you a, a better player, and, and, and when you go to to see the games in, in Bernabeu and you see what the fans demand and, and, and what the clubs, what the club demands to, to the players. I think that exigence uh, makes you a, a good player and, and, and makes you uh, to feel extra confidence when, when the pressure is high. What's interesting is that uh, at uh, la, 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 the factory, uh, La Fabrica, uh, the Academy of Real Madrid, you don't get taught the same way of playing year after year, depending which coach you have, you may play one way or the other, which is the contrast to La Masia, of course, or Barcelona, which have got one way of playing. What is best for a player, you think? I don't know. This maybe helps you to be a more uh, complete player. Uh, and that's one of the main characteristics of the, of the first team of Real Madrid. But what's for sure and, and Goes, goes with the club is this uh, winner mentality they, they, they demand on, on, on the player and, and, and even if you are winning an easy game 6 nils they want you to, 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 to go back to, to keep playing, to score the 7th and, and I think that's, that's, that's good. Parlo italiano? Certo. Certo.
uh, because of course after Bolton, uh, which was a little bit difficult at the beginning, but then you ended up being uh, one of the top players in the year that uh, you were in the championship and got promoted, is that right? No, we didn't get promoted. Uh, it was the year we went down to the championship uh, when I was uh, free of injury and Doggy Friedman came and, and gave me the confidence to to play and I, I, I end uh, the season playing uh, very good and, and, and scoring many goals as well. And how did the opportunity to go to Fiorentina came about? Well, they used to have a, a Spanish uh, sports director that uh, knew me from, from, from my time in, in the Madrid Academy. And he trusted he trust on me and, and, and he took me there. Uh, I was uh, free of contract because uh, I took the decision not to, not to renew my contract with uh, Bolton. And I went to Italy and I had a very good three years in there. Who, who did you play with? Well, I played with uh, English players. Uh, Michael Richards, he came from, from Manchester City. I played with uh, Salah. I play with some uh, important Spanish players like Joaquin, Borja Valero, uh, Gonzalo, Argentinian uh, centre back. A lot of quality. Uh, Mario Gomez, Giuseppe Rossi. Quality, quality players. Uh, do you know? Did you know that um, Manchester City look at Salah to sign him when he was at uh, in Italy? Fiorentina especially, and they said, no, nah, it's not, it's not going to happen for him. And when Chelsea went for him, they were like, and then, of course, uh, didn't work at Chelsea, and, uh, and City were thinking, see, it's not going to happen for him. And he has caught City by surprise that they actually could, he could reach this level. But when he was with you at Fiorentina, what did you see? Well, I think he was here at Chelsea and he... he didn't have the chance to to play regularly. Uh, I think uh, it's not easy in, when you arrive to, to a new country, to a new club, big club. He, he came from from Basel, Basel I think. Uh, it's not easy. Maybe maybe he needed some time. And, and, and uh, in Chelsea, that they fight for every title, every every season, they they didn't have the time to. To give much opportunity, so when he came to to Fiorentina, he started playing playing regular and and, and he did very well for us. Uh, I mean, uh, he scored some important goals. Uh, he, I remember a brace he scored against Juventus in the cup. Uh, they were unbeaten in their stadium for like 50 games, and, and we went there and we won. Uh, he scored two goals, and he played very good football. I think it was the start of. of of his takeoff uh, uh, to get where, where he is at the moment. So you saw glimpses of it. You saw you saw the quality. To yeah, finish, definitely, actually. definitely. Uh, you could see the quality. Uh, he he always takes it easy to to finish uh, with composure. Uh, the speed he has uh, is very good for for counter attack. Uh, and also he's small but he's strong. I think he, he covers the ball well and, and, and he fights with, with, with bigger players and, and, and does well. And uh, the humbleness, everybody mentions that he's a humble guy that, uh, which helps you to learn, obviously. You could see that as well? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, we used to go for dinner sometimes. Uh, we used to, to hang out also uh, outside the pitch because uh, I was one of the few that speaks English, so I remember me and, and Michael Richards going going for dinner with him, trying to to help him to to get used to the to the city and to and to the new club. Uh, now Chelsea came about. Uh, was that the only offer you had at the time? Mm, probably not. No. You had others, but you went for Chelsea because of what? Well, I always uh, liked Chelsea since my since my my time in in, in Bolton. Uh, I, I got to to learn more about the Premier League and, and English clubs, and I think uh, I, I 
fall in love with, with Chelsea by the time. Uh, I used to like London as well. And I think Chelsea was the, the, right, the, right, the right team for me. You talk very highly as well of our, of our previous period before Chelsea, the Sunderland period in which uh, you had Gustavo Poyet uh, in charge. What, what did you get from that period? Well, um, I think Gustavo is a, a great manager. Uh, we were, uh, they were struggling by the time. And since I arrived there in, in, in January, uh, things got much better. Uh, we did a great end of the year, we got to the cup final, and I have great memories from, from my time there. Uh, I learned a lot with, with Gustavo, uh, who is uh, an expert in, in the Premier League. He's played here for so many years, and I think uh, his experience helped me a lot. And, and, and also this uh, Argentinian mentality to to fight, to, to never give up, uh, is, is something that really helped me and, and I have very good memories from my time there. What's the best advice you've ever been given? Either by your dad or by Poyet or that one that you always remember? I think it, it must be from my dad. Uh, something when I was uh, a kid, I, I used to just listen to him and now I realize uh, it's, 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 it's very... It's a big, big truth. Uh, it's that never is gonna give you. Ne I mean, never. Nobody's gonna give you anything for free. Uh, all, all, all you get is because you, because you earn it. You won the league with Chelsea, and now you're about to play the uh, FA Cup final. Tell us a little bit about about the game and what kind of uh, talk is there in the changing room about the, about it. Well, uh, it's very important for us. I mean, even more than just an FA Cup final, but also uh, after a, uh, not a very good year, I think it's it's important for us to 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 win a title. For me, it would be great to to be here two years and win two titles. And uh, I think it's going to be a great game. I mean, Manchester United against Chelsea in Wembley uh, FA Cup final. The scenario can be can can get much better, and um, I think it's going to be a, a massive ga massive game for for us and, and for the club and for the fans. Last two. What is Marcos Alonso going to be in five years' time? Uh, hopefully, a better player than what I am today, and just the same person as uh, as I have always been. Where? Where would you be? In five years. I don't know. I only have three more years contract with Chelsea, so I don't know. In ten years' time? In ten years' time... Hopefully playing football still, but <laughs> with 37 it's going to be difficult. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I will, I will try to, to play as, as much as I can if I keep enjoying as, as I am at the moment. And, and we will see. And in 20 years' time? In 20 years' time? I don't know. Yeah, hopefully, with, with, with a family uh, living in Spain and, and surrounded by, by my family and, and, and my friends. And the last one. Choose a moment of your career. Whatever moment. It could be a goal, it could be a game, uh, it could be just before a game, during a game. But give us a couple of minutes of what it meant and how did you enjoy it, uh, what happened. Just ex explain it in as much detail as you can about it. Has to be a right moment or Any a moment. long period? Any moment. People say they learn more from defeats and from, from yeah. Hard I, was thinking, I was thinking this just now. Uh, I don't know, there was a time in, in, in Bolton after I left Real Madrid that was uh, very hard. Because I, I moved to a new country uh, with the expectatives to, to get uh, to play regular for the, for the first team. And when I get there, uh, I mean, coming from, from a club like Real Madrid, everything was, was much different and, and, and 
I had bad times with, with injuries uh, first year. Uh, I came injured from Real Madrid because before summer I broke my, my ankle. So I didn't do pre-season properly and, and uh, for this the first year I never uh, get to be, to be fit. And then uh, I learned a lot that year and the next year I, I start the season well. I do a very good pre-season playing, playing very good and when I started the first game of the season, I think it was in the cup, I broke my, my fifth metatarsal. And again, injury after, after a long time, my family came to England to see me playing and after 25 minutes, another injury. And again, a long recovery, a very tough to be in another country away from home, injured, uh, it's never easy. I recovered again. I remember I played a game in, in Fulham. I did very well. Uh, I think it was 2-1 win for us or, or a 1-1. A good game from us and, and the next game I started again. So finally I had the, the confidence. I was doing well. I was feeling well. And at the 86 minutes, I think, uh, after being named uh, player of the match, man of the match, uh, I had a pin on my metatarsal and it moved and it was like a little bit broken again. So again, uh, another injury, another uh, surgery in Spain. I think that was very difficult for me and... and, and it, it, I learned a lot from this, uh, so I never, I never stopped fighting and I knew what I wanted and, and today to, to be here, uh, I won the league last year and I have the possibility to win the, the FA Cup playing for, for the national team is, is, is something I think to be proud of and, and something that uh, if everything didn't happen probably I, I, I wouldn't be, there, be here today. What kept you going? Just the, 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 the hunger to be a, a footballer, to, to, to play for, for my national team, to, to play for a big team, to, to, to play for winning titles, not to, to avoid relegation. I think uh, it's something I, I dream all my life and, and, and I wanted it to happen so bad. Did it have to do with you wanting to prove your dad that you were good as well? Not to prove my dad, because I know uh, they don't need me to, to do well or bad. They, they, they are going to be with me anyways, as, as they show in these hard times. But, uh, yeah, obviously for me, inside, uh, I was used to see my granddad. Five European Cups, my dad playing for Barcelona and Atletico, and, and I couldn't play two games in a row. Obviously, this also gave me the, the strength to, to, to keep going and to keep fighting. Have you ever told that to your dad? Mm, I don't think they know me to. They don't need me to to tell this. They they probably know. They have seen it with me. Thank you very much. Brilliant. Thank, Thank you. you. So, what did you think? I've enjoyed the conversation. I've enjoyed what I've learned from it. But I'd like to know what you've learned from it. I like you to comment. I like you to subscribe. I I love you to tell your friends and your auntie, uncle, your cousins your brothers, sisters, parents, that there is a channel that um, has got long conversations about football in a different way. That's what I'm trying to uh, open up to you, a different way of uh, seeing this game. I hope you enjoyed it. Comment, subscribe, do all that under here, and come back soon, please.